All right, guys and girls, in this video, I'm going to be going over how to set up your Google business listing from scratch if you're just starting your business or setting up a new location. My name is Louis Vandervoek. I run and own Blue Crocus Solutions. We are a web design, SEO, and Google Ads agency primarily working with home service businesses. Let's dive in. Got this Google business listing here. Um, Blue Crocus Solutions Google business listing. Now, one thing you're going to find is if you have been using the Google business profile setup Previously, you used to be able to log into the back end. Google has changed all of that. Um, so you used to be able to kind of log in here into the business profile side of things. And you still can, um, sometimes Sometimes it doesn't work, but um, most of the action is gonna happen right from out in search. So it's gonna happen from right out here. And then this is important to know because a lot of people are pretty confused about this. It's a learning curve, it really is, if you're used to using the other um, setup. So what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna go in and we're gonna set up a listing. If you already have a profile set up, you know, an account that manages Google business profiles, um, you can add a business here. You, know, you can add a single business. You can go through and you can claim your listing that way. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it, um, like this is kind of the back end that they used to have. We can log in here um, and use, used to be that you could jump in, there'd be a, a whole profile set up. Um, and you can do everything from in behind the dashboard. Now, when you click on it to, to edit it and, and whatnot, um, it takes you right back to search. So you manage everything from search, editing a profile, reviews, messaging, photos, all of that stuff here happens from the search. So if you're looking to log into your business listing and you can't find it, you wanna come over here, make sure you're logged into the right email here, and then make sure that you, know, you just search your, your listing and you should be able to find it and manage it. Okay. We can probably make another video on that topic, but if you are looking to set up your listing, what you're going to do is you're just going to go Google, Google business profile setup. Okay. And it's going to bring you over here to this business.google.com create. Okay. So you're going to go in here. I'm going to make sure I'm in the right, uh, account. And this is important. So you saw here when I just went into there, that went into my personal pro, um, email here. If you've got multiple emails logged in here, you want to make sure that um, <clears throat> when you're setting up your listing, it sets it up on the correct listing. Otherwise, you're you're going to be like, oh man, I set it up everything and now I've lost it. And you're not going to know which email it's under. So up in the right hand corner, you want to check and make sure that it's under the right email. So I'm going to, that's why I switched to the right one here. This is the screen you want to be on to start it up. We're going to start um, and we're going to be Chuck in a truck junk removal. Okay. Don't be Chuck in a truck. That's all I've got to say about that. Okay. So we're going to go in here and you can choose different categories, uh, right? But let's just say we're going to set him up in New York City. So we're going to find an address in New York City. Um, just because that's what I'm feeling like doing today. But you can also um, like look up junk removal in New York, right? And you're going to see the different categories that people set it up. Waste management, garbage collection, um, demolition, etc. Garbage dump service. You can set your, your listing up as a, as a few different categories. We've got some ways to search for it, but waste collection is a pretty common one. Garbage collection is, a, is another pretty common one. So we're just going to do garbage collection. Okay, so then you go next. Do you want to add a location that customers can visit like a storefront? Most of you are setting this up at your home. If you have an address that people can visit, you can set this up as a location that people can visit. Some people will do this even if they're set up um, at their home. You do stand a higher risk of getting suspended if you do it that way. But if you switch it back after, um, you know, you can get your account back. If you have issues with suspensions, we can help you with that too. But anyway, we're gonna say no, we don't want uh, people to, to visit there. Um, and we serve in, um, so I'm gonna find an address here. Just cause I'm not gonna set it up at my personal address here. We're gonna do it in Yonkers. And we're literally just gonna find an address here. So what is this? 94 Buena Vista. So we're gonna serve people in Yonkers. So what this is, um, is for this section, you want to choose the, the biggest area or the area that's like 
the suburb that your address is located in, right? So this is in Yonkers. Yonkers, New York. You can also add a bunch more. So you can add them all now. But let's say let's say we're in here. And we're going to serve um, Yonkers and Mount Vernon, Bronxville, etc. So we're going to add in those, those different ones here. Um, I couldn't remember all the uh, other ones, but... Oh, Mount Vernon and Bronxville. So you want to make sure you're getting the right ones. Um, and you basically would go around and... Uh, Sorry, so not, I'm not very good at multitasking and talking. Um, and then Bronxville, and I'm going to move on from this. But you want to get every single area that you serve in, you know, in your location, right? So this one's located in Yonkers, um, but we want to be, we want to be really um, hitting all the areas around there that we'd be serving. Okay. So then we're going to go next. You can come in and you can change this later, so you're not, you're not uh, stuck with that. So what phone number do I want to show people? I'm just going to choose a 914. Uh, number so 506 and then website you definitely want to have a website um, if you are setting this up and you don't have a website yet that's fine but you want to get a domain from an SEO perspective I'm going to take a little bit of a tangent here from an SEO perspective you want to have a domain and you want to have that hooked up to a website even if it's a simple one page even if it's GoDaddy if it's Wix Squarespace you want to get something up there because the sooner you attach your domain to a website the sooner Google starts assigning some age and some, you know, it starts aging like a fine wine, literally, when you get your website connected to a domain. And that's one of the things that goes into the SEO authority down the road. So you want to get a, a website hooked up here. We're going to do www.chuckinatruckisthebest.com. That's probably not a domain someone's gotten. You're going to put in your domain, obviously. Okay, then you can go next. And then what you're going to do is you're going to verify your mailing address, okay? So this is, it says the address you provide here will be um, hidden from the public and post office boxes are not eligible. So this is where you're going to put in your address. Um, I'm going to verify later because otherwise it's going to, going to get me stuck here because I'm just creating a fake one, you know. Um, so, but you're going to put in your, your street address, your city, state, etc., and then, um, and then you're going to go next, and then they're either going to give you the option of a postcard, that's going to take about five days to come, or a video, um, a video verification, or a text or phone call. If you can do text or phone call, that's great if it comes up for you. If you can do um, video, that's fine too. And the reason that they're doing this, I've seen some people in the groups complaining, like, ah, oh, Google wants me to send a video. The reason that Google does that is they want to avoid um, people putting up spam listings, right? And this is good for you as the business owner because you don't want 50 spam listings in your area set up by someone you know who just wants to dominate right so we're going to skip this but you know take the phone or the text or whatever um, and if it's video then they're going to want to see um, lettering on your trucks your dba or your business licensing with the same address as you have listed on on here um, and uh, and you basically show that to them so that they know you're a legit business we're going to verify later here and what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to go through now and we're going to set things up, right? So we do appliance removal. Yeah, this is awesome. Um, Chuck also does dumpster rentals with his uh, rinky dink setup here, and he does donated goods, right? So they give they give you some options here. You can also add in custom services like demolition, estate cleanouts, etc. You can add custom services here, and you also get opportunity later on to go back in and add, add these custom services, okay? So we're gonna go next. We're gonna add business hours. You want your business hours um, and everything to match up with your actual business. You, want to, you don't wanna say you're 24 seven. And this brings me to a point here. When you're setting up your Google business listing, everything else on the internet that you have, your name, address, and phone number needs to match up. So when you list your business on directories, when you list your business on your website, when you list your business um, on your Facebook page, you want the name, the address, and the phone number to match up with what you've got on your Google business listing. Your Google business listing, Google sees the data that you have out there, the name, address, and phone number, and it starts to build authority with Google based on how accurate you are. Because ultimately Google is selfish and it doesn't want to serve up a solution for people that doesn't make sense. So if, you're, if you've got different phone numbers, different hours, different um, websites, 
this makes no sense to Google. And, uh, and Google's like, what the heck is happening here, right? So you're gonna set up your hours for whatever they are. I'm gonna skip this just in the, for the sake of time. You want to accept messaging. And what this will do is it'll send messages right through to your email or your phone. So we wanna accept messages. Set up a business description here. You wanna set something up here that is talks about what you do, where you do it, who you serve, how long you've been in business, um, all of these good things. So talk about the, you know, Chuck in a Truck does junk removal, does um, demolition, etc. And we serve Yonkers and surrounding areas, right? So we're gonna skip this for now. Then you can put in photos here. You definitely want to put in photos. A little tip here for SEO, rename your photos before you upload them. And then, uh, you know, put them in there um, so you can just upload it and it pulls pulls right from, you know, anything that you've got on your computer here. Okay, I'm just going to skip that for now. You can claim your free $500 advertising, especially if you're going to do Google Ads. Um, you can do that. We're going to skip it for the sake of time. And then we'll just continue, right? So now if you've gone through and set that all up, you have set up your listing. Now it's not visible yet because we haven't uh, verified it. But we have here, you know, the area that we can edit things, we can see things, etc. Right? So this is where you can add photos to the listing. This is where you can get a custom email. Would highly recommend that. Um, if you're doing it, it just sets it up through um, Google. So it'd be, you know, Chuck at Chuck in a truck is the best uh, junk removal.com, whatever our, our domain was. You can share posts here. You can uh, this is where you verify it. This is where you add your hours, get your chat set up, all that stuff, right? But you can also come in here and you can edit stuff now. So we can edit our profile. And this is where we can come and we can change the name if we need. That typically will will cause you to have to re-verify it. So be careful with that. This is where you can update your description um, that talks about what you do, where you do it. This is the same place that, uh, you know, we, we saw it before I skipped it there, right? But Chuck is the best junk removal in Yonkers. Okay, so you, but keep in mind, when you do the description here, you've got 750 characters, you want to use all 750 characters. If Google gives you the opportunity to put content on your listing, you want to take that opportunity. Okay, fill out your opening date. This is this is important too. So he just started. He's uh, He is the model junk removal company. He's just started out. And actually, he's probably been going forever, to be honest. He started in 2000, right? So you can save that. And then that's when it will say, been in business for 23 years. That's where it'll show up on your uh, business listing like that. Okay, so you can go down through here. You fill out the hours, like I said. Um, it kind of fills in a thing here, but I wanted to show you this because it gives you the opportunity once you set it up to edit things. So you don't need to panic as you're setting as you're setting things up. This is mostly related to um, restaurants. You want to go in here to more. So if you are Asian, Black, Latino, veteran, etc., you can check these off as they're applicable. So we'll do. He is um, Black owned. Um, yeah, we'll just do veteran owned, right? So no, 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 and and so he's veteran owned, right? So that will show it up up there. Um, crowd here. If you are, then you just check yes or no. Right, and then planning, is an appointment required? Nope, so you can save that. And then service options. So do you offer online estimates? Yes, typically um, you can just link this over to your contact page or to your, if you've got workies or whatever, you can link it right over to your, to your page there. <clears throat> okay, so you've gone down through here and this is everything that um, you have the ability to edit through there. This is where you can read reviews. You have to be verified first to be able to get reviews. This is where you're going to see all the messages um, that people send directly to your listing. This is where you can add photos. So you can do a logo, you can add photos, you cover photo, etc. <clears throat> this is where you're going to see insights. Now, because you're not verified, you're not going to see those insights. We'll go over here to this, right? This is where you're going to see calls, um, you know, the profile interactions the number of people that view your listing, the number of searches. You actually get to see um, the 
types of searches, right? So this can be really useful for SEO to see um, what kinds of searches you're showing up for. So this is where you can add products. If you've got dumpster rental or whatever, you can add these in here. You can add the prices, all of that good stuff. You can edit your services. So you can come in here and you can uh, add in every single service that you offer, whether it be a state cleanouts, um, hot tub removal, etc. And then the beautiful thing here is you can go into appliance removal, for example. I don't typically put a price on here, but then you've got 300 characters that you can write about your service. So you can talk about how you do it in Yonkers. You know, you can do appliance removal and disposal, fridges, air conditioners, whatever the case may be. You can take those and you can write that right in here. And that's more content that Google can see about what you do that can match you up with more, more people. Donated goods, you know, hey, we work with the Habitat for Humanity, the Restore, whatever. We'll, we'd love to take your, your um, donated goods and, and pick them up for you and whatever, right? So that's a, in the services, that's a, that's a Google business listing hack right there. Bookings here, if you've got this verified, then they can make uh, appointments with you. Calls, this is where you can see the calls from people. Q&A, you're obviously gonna have to verify, but um, this is where people can ask, you know, hey, do you provide this? Do you provide that? Um, and then you'll be able to answer them. You can add posts here, create um, events, add an offer, whatever, and see your photos. So you do all that, you verify your listing. So basically it's gonna take you back here. It's gonna, at every step of the way, it's gonna take you back to this, you know, please verify your listing. You're gonna put in your address. You're gonna go through the steps. And from there, you know, you're gonna rock and roll. I'm actually gonna do it here with you. So we're gonna, we're gonna verify this listing at this address. It's probably gonna suspend immediately, but that's fine. Okay. I'm just gonna take a quick screenshot of that. And we can go next, okay? So in this case, um, the only solution that it's provided is a postcard by mail. So I'm gonna do Louis Vandervoch. I think it's actually gonna mail this. Um, and postcards in the mail. <laughs> so, truck in a truck's postcard is being mailed to that address. All right, so then you continue. And when you get the postcard, um, you'll be able to, to go back in and verify it. So truck in a truck is now going to be verified at that address. No idea who lives there or what's happening there. Um, but obviously, I'm going to delete this listing after we do this video. But this gives you an idea of the steps that you need to take to set up your listing. If you found this video helpful, please don't hesitate to share it out. Give us a comment down below that you did find it useful. It helps the algorithm and helps us keep growing the channel.